KPI folks, Pat DiPaola, GE Connectivity, Product Management Organization. And hey, I'm PJ. We're here today to talk to you about some of our power products related to rack power and OCP community. We move over here to our rack demo. I'll walk you through uh, essentially how you would energize in a power fire rack from the facility drop down through the onboard chip. So products starting from a facility drop, you've got your AC power uh, whip, cable assemblies that are fed down from the facility and essentially energize your power shelf. AC power is run into power shelf through a rectifier. DE con you know, connector content all through that and it's converted to DC power. You know, from the power supply, there's a OCP spec product referred to as the power output connector. You know, essentially transitioning a thousand amps from the power supply into a bus bar. Bus bar is now energized and it feeds power vertically down through the rack. As you populate your IT gear, such as a server shelf, storage, or switch, what you'll then do is use the OCP design input power connector which will draw power from the bus bar directly to your IT gear. Then within the IT gear itself is where TE adds an exceptional amount of value. So once your product is, is inside a rack or inside a uh, IT gear, you would then have to transfer the power from power distribution board to a motherboard to GPU, so there's customization, power connectors, and cable assemblies with inside the IT gear to help transition that power. So staying with the rack and back to the bus bar piece of it, as an industry is challenged with the heat that is generated from the equipment within the gear, and you know, what we're showcasing here is a liquid cooled bus bar. And essentially, it's set up with baffles where you could actually use your liquid cooling features from your rack or your PSU. And essentially, you would just circulate liquids through the bar to enable you to cool that bar. Staying with that piece of it, moving over to PJ. Yeah, here we have one of the power output connectors, but we've added some smarts to it to measure contact temperatures. So these metal fingers here can get hot if there's a poor connection. So we would be able to detect a thermal runaway event or actually back off some of the derating for power consumption in the connector. And how we move the data is with an RF transceiver through the actual DC bus bar itself. So that folks, thanks PJ. That folks, visit us at DesignCon at our booth reach out to us on our website. We're here to power your rack and all your IT gear. Have a nice day.